Oh my goodness, thank you guys. It's late, but I have a few things to say. Um, I'm just so overwhelmed. I mean, pretty much all the most important special people in my whole life are in this room. And I just thank you for all being here for tonight. Um, I think all of us in our lives, we, we wanna feel that our efforts are seen and that our work is appreciated and, and not for the credit, but um, because we wanna feel that our life has meaning. And one of my first dates with Cal, he said, what's your opinion about having more children? I said, oh no, I don't think so. And he said, you know, you should think about it. It really adds meaning to your life. And I, my response was, honey, you don't know me very well, but I assure you I have so much meaning in my life. Um, I thank you all for the outpouring of love when I said I was retiring, which I'm not retiring from ever working again. I'm just retiring from Entertainment Review. But I was just overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support and all the beautiful words you've written. And I've been so busy working on this show, I've not been able to properly respond to all of you and let you know that I treasure every word that you've written um, to me. And the fact that you're here tonight is literally the greatest compliment you could ever give me. And I am just overwhelmed and hum humbled by all of it. Having all of my ER girls here with me, it's just amazing. Um, but all of you keep talking about what I've done for you. And the truth is, the greatest beneficiary of all of this the, has been me. I've been the lucky one because I got to watch all of you grow up. I got to see you face your fears and, 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 and overcome so many things in the growing up years to become such beautiful, amazing women. And I can't tell you what it's felt like me, for me to be able to watch you go on, to be there when Shannon gets the standing ovation in American Idol, or jump on a plane and see Abigail and her new off-Broadway show debut, or to hear about Emily's trek across Spain. It's the most incredible story I've ever heard in my life. Or to sit in a sold out arena and hear Chloe deliver the most technically perfect vocal performance I've ever heard in my life. It's just amazing. But I want to say to you that I am equally proud when I heard that April was elected to the moot court of her law school, or that Madeline organized a charity fundraiser for her med school free clinic, or that Haley Lindsay is studying something at the University of Florida that I don't quite understand, and preparing for a job that did not exist five years ago, or that Melissa Lazara has just adopted her fourth child from the foster care program. Anyway, I have so many people to thank. First of all, my ER parents, you, if you have been the backbone of this organization, and if you are sitting here in this audience, you're part of a group that I call the survivors, okay? You got their girls where they needed to be, you gave me space to be me, and when the girls needed a little coddling, you gave it to them, and then you kind of pushed them right back in the game. And like these girls, I think most of my best friends I met in ER too. Yeah. Also our group moms, I got a text at 6.30 a.m. from Heather Serafin, and I have to put my glasses, because I'm getting older, to even read it, and it's thanking me. And I'm thinking, why are you sending me a text thanking me? You have worked tirelessly in the tickets and backstage I owe her the biggest compliment, and my group moms, and the group moms for the 25 years that led up 
B. Lindsay, Donna Hughes, Carol Rubai, and our early moms, Carol Quesada and Sandra Cabreras, who preceded them. They are amazing. I want to thank my family. I think my 91-year-old grandmother is in the audience. And my brother, who's never seen our show, and so happy for them. And of course, my amazing fiance, who I love so much. And I really am looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Our major sponsors, I wrote Tom Pepin a letter a couple weeks ago just expressing my gratitude for all these years. And it wouldn't be the same without you, Tom, Ron, and Bob. And if you told me 25 years ago I'd be standing on this stage, retiring, looking down at my ex-husband sitting next to my fiance, and that he would be taking over the group, I would say no way, but it's true. But those are the qualities that drew me to Bob in the first place, his commitment to young people, his confidence to plunge himself into a business many times which he didn't know anything about and somehow make it an amazing success. Those are the qualities that I really believe will take ER on. And I'm so grateful to Crystal and Stokes and her enthusiasm to continue this. And I can't wait to be an audience member. And finally, my f and this is a lot of thank yous, but it's 25 years, so I'll sit in the back next time. My biggest thank you goes to my daughter, Zoe. Um, for those of you who know this story, I adopted her from China. We flew home for 24 hours, landed at 2 a.m., and at 10.30 a.m., she was already at her first ER show. <laughs> and while those pictures with President Clinton are pretty cool for the scrapbook, um, I'm not sure that the following 15 years were always the best for her. Um, how many times, even in the last couple years, Sorry, I can't come to your game. I have rehearsal. Sorry, I can't be there to take your homecoming pictures because I'm going to a show. But she's never complained. And she just understood that it was who I was and it was important to me. And I'm really looking forward now to my most important title being Zoe's mom. <laughs> 